Before I narrate this match, I just want to say me and NBZ had one of the most epic battles ever before this one, alright? But I guess the the world of Pokemon just did not accept it, so it had to disconnect us. So here we have a less epic, it's still a good match, but it's less epic match against one of my favorite YouTubers, NBZ, for DMAX Tournament. Let's go. Enjoy the picture of me. So, he's going to lead off with Goku, and I'm going to lead off with Swamp Thing. And I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake, but he has Grass Knot on his lead, Infernape. What the hell is this shit? But I knew it wouldn't kill because even my Zell's Grass Knot doesn't kill Swampert sometimes. And I just go straight for the Earthquake because I just wanted to kill that Goku, and I didn't think it would have Grass Knot, obviously. But it has a Sash, and it hangs on with it for dear life. And I'm going to switch out, obviously, but he predicts that, and he's going to go for the Stealth Rock. So my Salamence switch in was actually in vain. And he's going to get off a Blaze Flamethrower. So that is not good. But it does less than I thought it would, even though I'm naive. And I just go for the Fire Blast, and luckily it hits. And I kill Goku, which is impossible. Somebody's going to have to find some Dragon Balls. So he Pump Fakes me here, and he bluffs the Scarf. And then he goes for the Sub, and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> he's just gonna kill me off with a psychic here because I switched in the swamp thing to take the predicted ice punch which he does not have and he kills me with a psychic because he gets a crit just kidding the crit did not matter whatsoever obviously and I'm gonna switch the flag on just to kill the sub not kill the sub the sub's not alive to break the sub haha <laughs> and um, the sub breaks and he's gonna get off a psychic which is gonna do way more damage than I thought it would look at this shit <laughs> Anyway, um, now I'm going to switch out predicting that he'll switch out, and he does just that. He switches out, probably scared of my Earthquake, even though the Earthquake probably wouldn't have done that much anyway because I'm jolly, not uh, adamant. And he switches into a Vaporeon. I use uh, Draco Meteor. It doesn't really matter because he used Wish anyway. So I'm actually glad it missed because now I'm just going to go for the Roost here. Uh, he doesn't have Ice Beam, which is strange. He has Acid Armor, so I'm thinking it's a Baton Passer. So, predicting him to use Wish again, I'm going to bring in Stick Him Up, Put Your Dukes Up, and he goes for a Wish again. Probably wishing that I didn't have a Reloom on my team. <laughs> and I'm just going to put him to sleep, because I knew something was going to go to sleep. And um, now I'm just going to sub up here, and he goes right to the Pokemon I wanted him to switch out to which was a Jirachi, because that Jirachi is actually going to cause me major problems. So here I just decided to get rid of it right now. So he goes for the sidekick like I wanted him to. I'm glad he didn't go for the substitute, because I went for Leech Seed. And now that he's Leech Seeded, I'm going to switch in my um, Magnezone to take the predicted sidekick that he's going to use. And my plan will be pretty much complete. Because now I bring him on Magnezone. He stays in the use sidekick just like I thought he would. And now... Uh, he's trapped and he's leech seated but he gets a special defense trap and that's actually kind of big but it is a Jirachi so what can I say you know it's not really hacks because it's Jirachi it's expected of it but yeah the plan was to get in my uh, my Magna Zone safely and then um, just start going for T-Bolt and the combination of T-Bolt and leech seed would hopefully wear out the Jirachi he actually went for the calm mind there uh, I thought it was a good thing because I thought the Leech Seed would just start stacking up. But he actually made a good move because now he can actually two-hit KO me with Psychic. And he's not going to take as much from my Thunderbolt. But luckily, luckily, I get the Parahax right there. So now I'm just going to abuse the Parahax. And I'm going to set up a sub. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, stall. I'll be able to keep subbing until he gets a Parahax. He doesn't get a Parahax this turn, he's going to break my sub with a, a Psychic, because Psychic's being very overpowered right now, and he's not going to die from the Elite Seed, so that is great, he's not going to die from the Elite Seed, so that means I have one more opportunity for him to get a Parahax, so I sub up again, and what do you know, he gets paralyzed, and I was like, yes, he got paralyzed, so that means I'm going to be behind my substitute as he dies, so whatever he brings in is going to get hit with something. It doesn't matter what it is. It's going to get hit with something. He brings in Chocolate Rain, Tay Zonde, and I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt because I know that Thunderbolt will do a lot. 
he got a crit on the sub, so all his all his hacks is useless. But all my hacks is huge, as in he gets paralyzed again. He got paralyzed again. So this is just great. I could I could have uh, done the same thing I did with the Jirachi and just kept subbing until he got paralyzed, but that would have been kind of gay, seeing as I already hacked him once and now I hacked him twice. And uh, I just kill his uh, look his uh, Kingdra with a Thunderbolt. So he brings out Lando. And now I'm just gonna go for a Thunderbolt because I need to get damage on that thing before I, it before it kills me. And he's just gonna use superpower, and I'm going to die, to die, and I die. Yes. So now I'm just gonna uh, use this opportunity to bring out Flygon because he knows that I'm faster, and he knows he can't kill me. With, he knows like he knows I could have killed him with an earthquake. So I predicted him to switch out to Vaporeon. Thus, using U-turn. I use U-turn just so I can get my stick him up in uh more, you know, safely. And he's gonna switch out to his own balloon, and I was like, damn it. But then I took that back because I realized that I had my substitute up, and he can't do anything to me right now. And I'm just gonna go for the focus punch. He's gonna go for the substitute. I thought he was just gonna sub, 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 sub until he ran out of subs, just to try and wear down my focus punches. But I have 32 focus punches, so that doesn't even make sense that I would think that. So now he's just going to go for a focus punch of his own, and luckily he wins the speed tie, and if he didn't win the speed tie, that would have meant that I would have been behind my sub and killed him at the same time. So now it's time for him to... I love doing that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I kill him with a focus punch because focus punch on a Berloom is super overpowered, and to add insult to injury, I get a crit. <laughs> So he brings out Lando, and now I have to switch because Bullet Punch is going to kill me. And I just send out Flygon as Death Fodder. So now I'm going to be able to bring in my Salamence safely, and I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. Just kidding, I'm going to, yeah, I am going to go for the Fire Blast, I don't know why, so just kidding. And I go for the Fire Blast, he sends out Vaporeon, which is, was a good move. I thought he would just stay in, because, you know, I kind of have this game already, because of all the hacks. But he switches out. Fire Blast is a lot more than I thought it would, I don't know why it did that much. But I'm gonna go for the Earthquake now, just to see what kind of Vaporeon this is. Earthquake does quite a bit too. But um, a Draco Meteor should be able to finish it off from half health. So I go for the Draco Meteor and I was correct, my Draco Meteor will be powerful enough to finish it off. Even though I'm not plus uh, special attack like I usually like, I'm plus speed on this one. He's gonna send out Lando and his Lando is gonna go for the Bullet Punch and he's gonna take out my Salamence. And, um, yeah, but I sent out my last guy, which he hasn't seen yet, and it's a Suicune, so all hope is lost for him. So, good game, NBZ. I really wish we could have got the other match uploaded with my other main team, but shit happens, I suppose. Because that was really gay. That match would have been so much more epic than this one. This one was good, too, obviously, but whatever. Doses.